Excellencies, distinguished delegates. Like many developing countries, Cambodia has a lot more to do to reach our goal of becoming an upper middle income country by 2030 and a resilient, vibrant, and prosperous high income country by 2050. To this end, and in line with Secretary General's call for member states to deliver a rescue plan for peoples and planet, my government is committed to taking transformative actions. Through our recently launched Pentagon no strategy for Cambodia's socio-economic development over the next 25 years. The pentagonal strategy is being implemented from phase one in the first five, in the five areas of growth, employment, equity, efficiencies, and sustainability. The five key priorities are people, road, water, electricity, and technology especially digital technology to address the fourth industrial revolution and digital transformation of Cambodia economy. I would like to add that the main objective of this strategy include, on the one hand, maintaining the good momentum of peace, economic growth, and development in general. On the other, building and strengthening the foundation to accelerate national development, through resilient in five years, in five sec areas. The public sector, the economy, the financial sector, human and social capital, and the environment, including climate change response. For the success of the pentagonal strategies, Cambodia will accelerate its governance reform to ensure that our public administrations run efficiently with a high level of integrity. We will safeguard peace, political stability, security, and social order, and maintain macroeconomic stability. To this end, Cambodia will further enhance partnerships and cooperations for development and keep welcoming the support of all friendly partners, both technicals and financials, to help Cambodia achieve its SDGs while continuing to deepen its regional and global integrations. Cambodia will continue on its present path of independence and neutral foreign policy based on the rule of law, equal mutual respect, and adherence to the principle of the UN Charter to promote its national interests, strengthen existing friendships, and build more amicable ties. Cambodia remains resolute against the threat or use of force in international relations, interference in the internal affairs of and aggression against other independent nations. Cambodia shall not authorize any foreign military base on its territory, as clearly stated in its constitution. Cambodia will not allow any country nor any group to use its territory against another country. Cambodia will further endeavor to strengthen and expand good cooperation with nations around the world through bilateral, regional, and international frameworks to contribute to global peace, security, stability, sustainable development, and prosperity shared by all. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, in addition to the SDGs under the global framework, Cambodia has added its own specific goals relating to mine actions, namely a mine-free Cambodia by 2025. In this effort, we call for continued financial and technical support. We also urge greater participation by the international community to raise awareness of the dangers of landmines and unexploded ordnance, the hidden killers that threaten to men human securities even after armed conflicts end. Cambodia welcomes the global accelerator on jobs and social protections for just transitions initiated by His Excellency Antonio Guterres. We are proud to be selected as one of the 10 potential pathfinder countries. To achieve the SDGs, Cambodia calls on international community to intensify efforts 
strengthen cooperation, and rebuild trust and confidence to end wars, address the root cause of conflicts, and reinvigorate solidarity for SDG achievement. As a true contributing country, Cambodia fully supports increasing the portion of ODA for peace building. Cambodia remains steadfast in its commitment to PKOs in contributing to international peace, security, stability, which are crucial for sustainable development. To further contribute to this process, Cambodia has decided to stand for membership of the Organizational Committee of the Peace Building Commission for the term 2025 to 2026. We seek your invaluable support for our candidature to this body. Excellencies, distinguished delegates. In conclusion, despite many challenges and instability, we can build a better world for all by working together towards our common goals with reinforced mutual trust and global solidarity. Cambodia fully supports the adoption of the SDG Summit political declarations and the draft decisions of the Summit of the Future. These documents will help keep the SDGs on track and ensure their achievement by 2030. Thank you very much.